Welcome to another episode of Locks and Low Firearm Reviews. Alright, today guys, today's video is going to be, what's my EDC? Uh, back in the past, I used to do EDC videos pretty often, but you know, this year I haven't done any EDC videos, so definitely want to at least do one for 2020 in my EDC. Alright, so starting it off, we're going to stop from the tip. Alright, so a lot of people see me wear these. These are it's love wraps, head wraps. Let's see if I can find a little logo here. And so I always wear one of these because, you know, out here in Florida, you know, one, if it's really hot, it keeps the sun off you. If it's really cold, it keeps your head warm. And then two, I say, if you got an emergency medical situation, you can use one of these to tie an emergency tourniquet, or if you need to wrap a wound, you can take one of these and do that. If you need to create a sling, say you break your arm, you know, you tie it up in a way. You can use this to make a sling for your arm. So, granted, nine times out of ten, this is really for you know fashion purposes, aesthetics, looks. But this does actually serve some kind of purpose um, and its uses. So I like having that function as well. But for the most part, it just looks good on me. Um, so you know, you can hit up love wraps if you want one of these. I got a whole bunch of them. Y'all have seen all the pictures with me in them. So check it out. All right, so that's the head wrap. Um, I'm not gonna get in clothes, no one cares about what I wear. All right, so things I carry, car keys. Um, very simple, nothing uh, I really wanna get too much into. The only thing I do say is that I prefer to carry my keys on a clip, which means it puts it outside my hip and not in my pockets. Um, no, cause I carry all this EDC stuff, so I kinda need my pockets. Or, you know, I don't want to put stuff in my pockets. You know, keep my pockets clear in case I do need them. So I always like to clip my car keys to like a, a belt loop and um, hang my car keys by there. Um, nothing special about them except the fact that I guess we're going to start getting into lights here. Um, I have this Olight, um, what is it, IR2 EOS. And it's a little basically like emergency flashlight, 80 lumens, so you twist the bottle and you get a little flashlight. Now you twist it more and you get a brighter flashlight. Now you back it out, see how it dims, and then eventually it'll turn off. And so something like this is good because you know, it goes to my car keys. Let's say you drop something. Now in between your seats in the car, you're just looking for us or something in the grass at night, and you just happen to need a flashlight, you always got a little flashlight right there on your car keys. Alright, so that is one of the flashlights that I pretty much always carry on me because it's always on my car keys. Now this flashlight, I sometimes carry in my pocket depending on where I'm going, but 9 times out of 10 this is usually in one of my EDC bags um, or in my car, but somehow this light is somewhere near me. And this is the Olight M1T Raider Plus. Let's see if y'all can see that. Yep. You can see the, the knurling on there for grip. It's got the little self-defense bezel. So I like this flashlight. It's small, compact, but as, as you see, it's very bright. And so, let's see if I get this strobe. No strobe? Okay, no strobe. All right, so I also use this for security sometimes because I like the size of it. I can just drop it in a plate carrier or in a pocket. But this flashlight is, um, I really like these these size lights because they're not very big. They don't take a lot of space. They don't weigh much. Um, so you can throw this in the pocket and you're good to go. And it's a bright flashlight that's more powerful than this. And you can uh, you don't have to shine a weapon light at somebody. You can use a handheld flashlight. So that is one of the flashlights I really like. I've had this for about a year or two now. And I actually like that flashlight a lot. All right, so that's wep that's handheld lights. Um, okay, knives. I don't carry a lot of knives. I am not a big knife guy. I understand the uses of a knife, and I always have a knife, but I'm not one of those like 
barbecues, knife know-it-alls, like, you want this type of steel with this cut, and you know, yeah, I, I don't know all that. I just know, get a good knife. If it cuts good, it is a good knife. <laughs> so this one, this is the Benchmade knife. Um, I'm guessing the Infidel, that's what it says on the back. All right, so this is uh, the Benchmade knife designed by Mick Henry. This is literally the first time I'm actually reading the stuff on it. Um, this was sent to me by a subscriber. Uh, so someone sent me this knife two years ago. And so I've been using it ever since. You know, you can look at it and tell, you know, the color is coming off. Uh, like the spring is getting a little weak sometimes, but it still extends out. And you can see the blade is obviously, you know, well used. So, and I still use it, it still cuts well. Um, still does everything I need it to, it just kind of shows a little wear and tear on it. But it's a good knife. Uh, I like how it retracts like that. You can shoot it out and you can drop it in and then shoot it out. So I think that's pretty dope how it does that. Keeps it nice and compact. And then you know, once you show it somebody, most people don't really know what they're looking at until you know you hit the button and then they see the knife come out and they're like, oh, that's a knife. <laughs> but yeah, I don't carry a lot of knives. I mean, a lot of knives. This is really the only knife I really carried for the past couple of years. All right, so that is knives. Let's get into shoes. All right, so these are Altama boots. These are what special forces wear um, in combat overseas, where the fuck they do. All right, so most people look at this and be like, it's a Converse, but really it's actually uh, like, it's, it's like a Converse, but for military use, you know, for that outdoors rugged use. These are the Altama Urban Assault. So if you're going to be in this city a lot, do a lot of walking in this city, uh, this is what you want because uh, there's no, it's very breathable, lightweight, um, has a lot of padding and cushion here. So you can walk for a lot, oh, like pretty miles on that on concrete and through the streets and have no issues. Um, I've worn these before at formations and I really like them. They're also, I got a whole line of these. Uh, these are the black uh, urban assault. I got the gray Mar times. I got the Ranger green and black Mar times, and I got the FDE Coyote Brown, whatever you want to call it, uh, Mar times. So these are the Altamba Mar times. So if you live in Florida or a place that's really wet, I highly prefer these. These are uh, they don't have any material in there that's gonna like rot when it gets wet. You know, like the cotton shoes. You, know, you get them wet, they start to smell bad, and something like that. These are designed to wear. They get fully wet. You can even put um, fins on them. So if you like uh, scuba diving and all that, these are fin compatible. Uh, so you can put on your fins and go swimming like you want to be a Navy SEAL and shit. Um, but you know, you step out on land, these are designed to handle long marches. Uh, they have padding in there for comfort. They've got little holes in there to help the water come out easier. Um, it's got little material inside, so it's not going to fuck up your feet and smell bad. So, these are really, really good shoes to wear. Uh, most people look at them and think they're Converse, but they're really actually tactical Special Forces boots, you know. So, uh, Altama, Altama boots, big fan of those. Alright, and now let's get into the EDC bags. Everybody want to see the guns, that's why I do the guns last, because if I show you the guns now, Nobody else is going to watch the rest of the video. <sighs> All right, so let's get into it. I have preferably three EDC bags. All right, so the first one is not very tactical. This is really, no, of course, promotion, branding. So this is a bag you can get on wagundanation.com. You know, so it's got the front pouch up front. You know, it's got this middle pouch. This is where I carry all my medical supplies. All my bags have the same medical supplies set up in there. You got the emergency bandage, usually two combat gauzes. You know, you got two chest seals. You always got at least one tourniquet. And I'm pretty sure every one of them has got a bun dressing. You know, and uh, of course, other stuff, gloves, shit like that. 
So, and also on the back, I like about this bag, it has this compartment, almost like concealed carry compartment, where you want to carry other stuff. So, if you want to get, you know, get a, a decent bag that can carry your stuff, and also support the channel, well, gunnation.com get you a bag. You know, it's got inside and it's got a back pocket. So, pretty dope bag, actually. And that this one is more of... If I don't want to seem so tactical, you know. Hey. All right, this is more of my. This is more of, I guess, the bag I carry more often because it's not like a backpack; it's a sling bag. So you know, you sling it, and then it carry all your contents in here. As you can see up front, I got a tourniquet and medical shears ready to go. I can just slip that out and go. Um, it's got multiple pockets. You, know, you got your big pocket here. And again, like I always said, you know, all my bags, I got medical equipment, the same meds in here. This one's a little smaller, so I had to move some of the medical stuff around. Got my emergency bandages and combat gauze over here. And do I? Yeah, I do. I've been, it's funny, I've actually been kind of looking for this, but you know, I'll keep a spare mag in there too. And I was actually looking for that mag. <laughs> and then on the back, you got a concealed carry pocket, so you can carry, you know, your pistol in there and a mag, like how it was. So that's another good bag. That one is by Vanquest. Um, damn, what's the name of it? Oh well, I did a video on it. No, you can go on Vanquest and uh, oh, okay, Mobius 2.0. That's what it is. It's a VanQuest Mobius 2.0. All right, and so that's the bag I honestly probably carry with me more than any of these other bags. All right, so the locks and load is more for, you know, low key stuff. The VanQuest Mobius is more of my everyday carry bag. Now this is more of my, this is also uh, like an everyday carry bag, but this is more, uh, the way I have it set up is more for, you no, know, I can do it carry it through the streets if I want to, but if I was going to, let's say, formation, if I was going to a training class, if I was going camping, hunting, doing something a little bit more than the average civilian, not, you know, not just going to the mall, not just going to school, not just going to work at home, let's say I'm actually kind of doing something, but at the same time, I might be doing that normal civilian shit in between, you know. So this is the VanQuest Katara, Katora, goddamn, I, I'm sorry, Katara 16 backpack. I did a video on this. This is honestly one of my favorite backpacks um, out here on the market, any market. Again, this is by VanQuest. Um, you know, you got your front pocket up front, and you got you see you got your Molly loop so you can put stuff in there. Again, like always, get the meds. Now you got your front pocket up front. Now if you want to put stuff in, you got your main pocket here. Now I got another tourniquet, uh, shears, uh, the side slick. Now you see on the back, um, coming up here, I have a hydration carrier. Because like I said, I take it to classes. I'll go outside hiking, camping, and all that other shit. Um, and so I want to have hydration in my bag, not necessarily on my plate carrier. Or if I'm not wearing a plate carrier, I don't want to have to have two bags, you know, my hydration carrier and then a bag over that. So I put them all into one. So I got my hydration carrier in here. Um, still carries all the stuff I need. Um, Multicam black. So it looks kind of low key, but you got tactical because you can still see the camo. But for the most part, you're just kind of glancing at it. It just looks like a black backpack. But, um, and, um, yeah. So that's my EDC bags. All right, so now let's step into the firearms, which is what all y'all came here for. All right, so now we're here with the firearms. All right, so we'll start from small to biggest. All right, so the smallest concealed carry handgun I have, and one I carry pretty often actually, especially during daylight hours, is my Glock 43, and it's in the Harry. Harry's holster, uh, the Harry's holster, 
So, yes, the gun is loaded and there's one in the chamber, so I'm not gonna touch the trigger. Don't fucking at me. All right, so this is my Glock 43 9 mil. I got uh, Ameriglow, uh, IDOT, Night Sights. Um, got, was it? The Vickers plus two bus base. Vickers plus two base plate. So instead of the normal six rounds it comes with, it gives me um, eight rounds in the mag, one in the chamber, so nine rounds. So I like this gun, um, very concealed, very concealable, um, small. It does have a lot of pop when you shoot it, but then again, for concealed carry, no one's really caring about recoil like that. Because you know, if you're having to shoot somebody with this, this is up close and personal. So yeah. And then also I will carry it with a spare mag and this is, has the fab defense plus four base plate. So there's 10 rounds in here. And so this is the gun I carry like now during daylight hours, early morning hours. Uh, this is what I'll carry because you don't see a light on it. And then it's lightweight. All right, moving on to probably the gun I carry, concealed carry the most. And this one is sitting in the Tinnacore. The Tinnacore Sega Lux 2 holster. This one is a universal light holster. So, you know, you can have different CCW lights and they will all work with this one holster. Not all lights, but majority of them. You know, a lot of lights will work with the holster. And so this is my Glock 19. Again, loaded, one in the chamber, so don't at me. Um, my Glock 19, Gen 5, got the Olight PL2 um, light, 600 lumens. Um, besides that, oh yeah, and I got, uh, what is it? Yeah, Trigicon HD XR night sights. So I actually like these night sights. The front post is very, it's thinner than the original uh, Trigicon HD night sights. So I like that, uh, makes it a little bit better to shoot so you can see kind of more in your front sight isn't taking up the whole target. You can't see shit, so you're just kind of having to guess where it's at. So, these night sights, uh, these knees. But for the most part, everything else is stock. Uh, when it comes to carry guns, uh, especially me carrying appendix right next to my, yeah. I don't like to do a lot of modifications to my carry guns, especially in the trigger area. Uh, I use my, leave my trigger stock. I don't mess with those. So, this gun I have had for years now, like two, three years. Like, this is like one of the first guns I bought when I first started my channel, so. It's been on here for a while. It's had thousands of rounds through it. Um, you can see the wear on it, but you know, it still shoots like a dream, still rocks like a Glock, and so I still carry it. And that's my Glock 19 Gen 5. All right, so over here, coming in in the Huckleberry Tactical holster is my other carry gun. I don't carry this too, too much, but I do like to carry it. Um, this is my CZ P07 9 mil, again loaded, one in the chamber. All my pistols are ready to go, bro. All right, and so I got the Streamlight TLR7 500 lumen light. And so, again, everything else is stock. Uh, the sights is stock, trigger is stock, everything's stock. The only thing I did was kind of rifle wraps mags, so. This is really my home defense gun. Um, when I'm laying in bed at night, this is the gun that lays next to me. Um, because like, I don't carry it a lot. It's, it's heavier than the Glock, and then Loki, this beaver tail be fucking with me, carrying appendix. Um, but I do like to carry it during winter time because you're not going to have more clothes. It does print a little bit more than a Glock because it's a little bit bigger. But I, I like I love the way this thing shoots. Um, I like the I love the feel of an all metal gun pretty much. And it is just a good gun. I, I just wish I could, I carried it more often. But you know, like I said, it sleeps with me in the bed. And so. That is my concealed carry guns right there. Well, one more. Sometimes I'll carry this. This is my Glock 45 9mm. This is really my security gun. Like when I do arm security, this is the gun I use. Uh, but I can, especially now during winter with hoodies and large jackets, I actually have and can conceal carry this pistol. 
And you know, I, I will sometimes. Depends on where I go and how long I'll be out there. You know, I'm not just gonna carry a big ass gun just to be carrying a big ass gun, you know. So, those are the four pistols that I will conceal carry um, at any point throughout my life. Because <laughs> those are the only four I really I really trust for conceal carry. I had Taurus G2, my mom took it. I haven't seen it since. <laughs> All right, so for the, those guys who were looking at the lights, I know I didn't go with the weapon lights. Like I said, Streamlight TLR7, 500 lumens. Uh, what is this? Olight PL, PL Mini, the first one. This is 400 lumens. Uh, again, rechargeable. Uh, again, another PL2 Valkyrie. PL2 Mini Valkyrie light, 600 lumens. Same one as this, just different. Uh, no, my, my, wrong gun. Same one as this, but just different colors. And then this one is the Olight PL2 Valkyrie. Um, another Olight. Olight makes great concealed carry lights. Now, as far as you want some kind of like, you no know, weapon light, like big ass weapon light, don't have one here. Yeah, I don't have one here, so I'm not gonna get it. But, um, okay, then maybe, I don't know. You, but as far as pistol lights, Olight makes good pistol lights. And I don't know if you guys care, but we're here. Uh, I do carry a spare mag with this Neo Mag pistol clip. So it goes in your pocket like a clip. And then you know, attach it to the mag. So the mag is sitting in your pocket like this. And when you go to draw, you just... And so that is the Neo Mag uh, spare mag holder. You know, so... Usually I'll carry for ammunition Federal 147 grain 9 mil hollow points. And so I will carry that 147 throughout all my guns. Literally got up. <laughs> I just put all my 147s in a jar. And so when I need them, no, I just take them out of the jar. If I go into range, I don't need these mags loaded with hollow points and I need to download them, I'll just put them back in the jar. But yeah, I literally got a jar of 147s. So, you know, I either carry a Glock 19 15 round mag or I'll carry a Glock 17 17 round mag. You know, uh, same thing for my Glock 45, I'll carry it. Got my 15 round mag for my CZ PL7. And then, like I said, my uh, six round with the plus four, plus four base plate uh, for my Glock 43. And so, guys, I think that is everything for my. Oh, yeah. This one I need to write shit down. Belt. Before I go, before I go. All right, this is one concealed carry belt I wear a lot. This is the Blue Alpha Gear Interliner belt. So I have my, yeah, got my gun belt, right? And so this one attaches, I put this on, and the gun belt attaches to this. So it's good if you're like one of those EDC nuts that just always want to be ready for shit. You know, you get your belt like this, leave a gun belt in the car so some shit happen. You can always run to your car, lift your shirt up, throw on your gun belt, and now you have your gun belt and you can DDM out. All right, here is another, this is a budget option, all right? So this is a proper gun belt. I got this from an army surplus store. Uh, it was like 40 bucks. Uh, rigid, cobra buckle, simple, fish it works pretty well and this one is probably one of my goodness you can look at the buckle and tell how well used this thing is look at that that's how <laughs> that's how much I use this thing I want to see if you can see this the cuts on it from where I put all my holsters no no that's actually holding up the wear pretty well but this is the core essential ratchet gun belt so it's got the ratchet system on there so you can have increments at like every quarter of an inch or some shit like that. So you can really find that perfect fitting uh, for your gun belt. So Core Essentials, I really think is the best gun belt maker out there on the market. All right, so that is everything now. All right guys, so hopefully you enjoy the EDC video. Hopefully you saw something here you like or something you might want to add to your collection. When it comes to EDC, don't fill your pockets with everything just because you can. You gotta find a balance of having what you need and having what you don't need. 
So again, depending on where you are, what you do in your life, I can't give you a setup for everybody. You know, you're gonna have to look at what you do, the things you use more often than not, and the things you don't really use, you know, like, like a multi-tool. Like I, I'm not doing things out there every day where I really need a multi-tool on me uh, constantly. So I don't have a multi-tool. So things like that. So take a look at what your, your mission is the mission dictates gear and then ask yourself what do I need why do I need this and how does it help me accomplish my goal so guys <clears throat> hopefully you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe if you're looking to ask me more questions about the stuff you see on these YouTube videos or buying guns or anything dealing with gun related issues I really implore you guys to go to my consultation service and book a service and then talk to me and I can actually run you through what you need. Like if you want to build an AR, like we will, we can, we'll sit there. Now we'll go through the whole gamut. All right, buttstock, buffer tube, yada, yada, yada. Why do you need this? This is what this does. I will literally go through the whole gamut with you if you want me to. You know, so that's why I created that because I can't answer all y'all comments in the comment section or in DMs. Or Facebook Messenger so I did that for you guys to help you know, personally get you information not just put a video out and then you may or may not grasp what I'm talking about so definitely use that service that's there for you guys to help you out if you want a firearms class again locksloafirearminstruction.com I have pistol classes right now I'm looking at getting the range to where I can do rifle shotgun so if I can get that and I'll definitely add those but right now I'm holding them Saturday, Sunday in Jacksonville, Florida. There's a morning class at 10 a.m. and afternoon class at 2 p.m. That's Saturday, Sunday. So, you know, book a service and let me know uh, which one uh, works best for you, morning or afternoon. Um, if you're looking, again, get a dope bag. Locks, uh, not my bad. Well, GundaNation.com. Um, get you a bag like this. It'd be low key, but yet still look pretty sick. And you know, locksloafirearm.com if you want to help support the channel. I got Cash App, Patreon, or you could buy a t shirt uh, from any of those websites on there. I have like three t shirt stores. All right. And that is it, y'all. Thank you for watching. Please be safe. Stay dangerous. Locks load out. <laughs>